said like great things to say about his teammates. You know, hearing Fred talk about his relationship with Kyle after the game. Um, you know, Fred, Fred was asked, what do you guys talk to each other about? And Fred was like, first off, it's none of your business. And then he went on to actually say what they, they talk about. And he revealed that Kyle watches every single Raptors game, which I think is super, super dope. Um, you know, and, and Kyle has been advising Fred every step of the way in that transition between, obviously, Kyle was the point guard and, and even beyond the, the, the stuff on the court, just like such a big presence for this organization for like almost a decade pivoting from that to, to handing the reins off to Fred and then continue to advise Fred on a daily basis on some of these things. It's just really beautiful, man. Um, and yeah, I, I just think that Kyle's like legacy here is going to be kind of everlasting. And to be honest, it adds like even more spice into the Raptors heat kind of matchup mm. because those are already very competitive as it is between two pretty good teams. But when you put Kyle on the other side, then you, you see, you see guys like, trying to go at him. You see guys trying to score on him, like OG posting him up and carefully avoiding Kyle's flops for charges. You know, like, it, it was just, it's it's just entertaining on that level. And then when Kyle starts to go off, like he did in the fourth quarter there, where he was trying to will the heat back into the game, you're like, damn, the Bears been poked, and now I'm on the other side of this. Like, how many times have we, as Raptor fans, seen what it looks like when Kyle wills his team back into the game? You know, they're kind of, you know, not playing well, whatever, and he r- rattles off, like, five or six straight possessions. That's exactly what happened last night when Kyle was trying to do that for the Heat. When you're on the other side of it, you're like, damn, I, I can't believe we're getting cooked by him. But, you know, it, it's just, it just makes it really, really fun. And, um, yeah, it's, just, uh, it's, it's really fun watching Kyle come back into the arena. Even after the game, you know, I was, I was sitting alone there in the, um, in the 600 booth, like, doing the React pod, and I can, like, look down, and the whole entire arena is empty except for, like, some staffers. And Kyle Larry came back out just to make sure to hug people and just, like, shake more hands and talk to security. It's... It's great, man. You know, him giving daps to Zoe, then us giving daps to Zoe, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Shouts no, to, shouts to Zoe. Shouts to Zoe, man. Um, no, I, I think it was cool, too. You mentioned the moments after the game. Like, he shared that embrace with Masai. I know he had a little moment, too, with Pascal. And obviously, all these guys still keep in touch. It just made me think about, too, I think Kyle talked a lot during that Tampa season because that was, you know, a struggle for Pascal, right? There was yeah. um, the suspension. You know, he wasn't you know, living up to expectations. There was a spotlight on him. And I remember Kyle talking about at the time that, you know, like he, that Pascal will be fine. That like, you know, what, you know, after whenever Kyle leaves, that, you know, the, the Raptors are in good hands with these guys. Mm-hmm. And it's cool to to kind of flash forward two years later and you look at the team, obviously Pascal's injured right now, but before he was hurt, you know, we saw him playing at like an all NBA first team level. Yep. And, you know, I guess we can transition and talk about OG now. Like, you know, oh, man. You, you talk about 